Okay, so I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been meaning to. And I've had a few people asking me to do something special for the 200th video, even though I hadn't really planned on doing anything special for it. I didn't even know it was coming, actually, until it had been pointed out to me. And, uh, you know, the suggestion had been made to start doing the Q&As again, and since I haven't for a while, I figure, you know what, why not? Okay, first question. What is your opinion on Mewkies? Well, they're small, they're fast, they're difficult to jump over, and they also have a strange sounding name when you say the name a million times in a row. Mewkies, 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 Mewkies. What's the difference between peanut butter and jam? One is peanut butter and one is jam. You do retro reviews. Would you ever entertain doing more current or at least games within 10 years? Now, this is one of those detriments to having the uh, Q&A series on hiatus for two years is that this question pretty much was answered since it was asked. Uh, I have, have done a few games more on the modern consoles, but uh, you know, retro reviews will always be my focal point, and then I will start splashing in some uh, some newer games here and there. Just add a little bit of variety. Have you ever heard of the Tohu series? Nope, and that's probably why I might have just mispronounced it. Do you play any instrument? Yeah, I play drums. I also, you know, mess around with keyboard, bass, and guitar, even though I can't play those worth of shit. I just do it for fun. What do you think of romance plot lines in video games? Well, they're just like romance plot lines in movies to me. It's, uh, you know, it's not exactly my cup of tea, but, you know, the elements of romance can definitely be useful. It's just that, uh, like any other plot line, if it's just strictly romance the whole time, or if it's, you know, anything for just, if there's only, if it's a one-dimensional plot line, then it's not going to be good. It's not going to be creative. There's just not a lot there. So, you know, there's problems with that. So, as far as, you know, romance plot lines go, you know, there's, like I said, there's definitely, it's, it definitely has its place, just as long as there's a fair balance. What are your thoughts on the new Looney Tunes? I am not familiar with any of it, really. I think I saw, like, one episode once. Can't really form an opinion based on that. Are you going to do a Mega Man X Games since you are doing the Mega Man Games? Mega Man X Games? So is that like I'm going to be hosting an event where Mega Man and the Robot Masters are competing in skateboarding, rollerblading, and biking events? No, I will not be doing that, but I might do the Mega Man X series reviews if I get more familiar with them. And the reason why I'm not familiar with them enough to do a walkthrough is that I didn't have a Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo during its heyday. I picked up a Super Nintendo much later on, and... You know, the X series is just one of those series that passed me by. As much as huge of a Mega Man fan as I was, you know, I never really got around to the X series. Uh, I mean, I've played them, but I haven't played them enough to be familiar enough with them to do a walkthrough. I hope that it will happen someday while I'm still doing walkthroughs, but, you know, I can't exactly promise it, but I will definitely give it my best shot. Do you like Street Fighter? Yep. Will you continue being awesome? Yep. Do you like retro Nickelodeon? If yes, what did you like? Um, you know, Nickelodeon for me was big around 1987-ish, when I was like four. Uh, up until 93, 94 was when, you know, it started to fade a little bit, and I was watching less and less of it at that point. Uh, especially early on in that time period that I just mentioned, you know, it was... I uh, watched just about everything on it. I mean, that was my channel. You know, so you, you name it from that time period, I pretty much watched it. You know, there was all the Nicktoons from that time, uh, all the early Nicktoons. You know, uh, Double Dare, Salute Your Shorts, Inspector Gadget, which, I, you know, well, it wasn't a Nickelodeon show, but, you know, that was on Nickelodeon. That, that was, those were the shows that I were big on. Pretty much everything around that time period, you name it. How long does it take to do the walkthrough, then get organized, then get it done? On average, I'd say probably about a week and a half was worth of time. It, not completely. It's not 24/7. You know, a few hours a day, maybe. Uh, and with you know, some days I'll I won't even work on it at all. But that's roughly about how long it'll take. And that's the, again, it depends on the walkthrough, how long it goes. If it's a long game, it's going to take a little bit longer. 
What's it like to have almost 5,000 people look forward to what you have to say? You know, this proves how long it's been since I've done these Q&As. That number's actually increased quite a bit since then. But, you know, it, it it's pretty nuts to me that I have this many people out there that actually legitimately do watch my videos and look forward to what I have to say and support the show and, uh, you know, send me requests and, and everything else. You know, I appreciate every single bit of it and... Because mainly, you know, without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. You know, if there was nobody watching my videos, obviously there'd be no reason to make them. So, you know, thanks for supporting me and thanks for watching. Thanks for everything because, you know, I enjoy it quite a bit. And if nobody was watching, I wouldn't be doing it and I wouldn't be enjoying it. Where did you get the Atari mix of Aqualung for your Atari reviews? Well, it's actually not an Atari mix. It's a online MIDI. Just Google Aqualung by Jethro Tell MIDI, and you'll probably find it. I'm not sure exactly where I got it from. Do you drink? If so, what is your favorite drink? And how often would you say you drink? I'd say I drink, like, just on the weekends, really. I'm a social, casual drinker, and I never really get shit-faced that often. Usually, it's just a, uh, you know, a good little buzz. Uh, my favorite drink would be probably, for beer, it would be Sam Adams Winter Lager, probably. would be my favorite one. And for hard liquor, I would say uh, either Captain Morgan or Seagram 7. In one of your videos, you mentioned that you doubt you'd ever have kids. Is that to say that you don't want to think about having kids yet or you don't want kids at all? Well, at the time that I mentioned that, this was like three years ago, I think. Uh, yeah, it was in the Pac-Man review that I said this because I mentioned my birthday. Yeah, I said I doubted I'd, uh, that I'd ever have kids, and that was like, kind of like a uh, a joke from the uh, you know from the the guy joke of never wanting to have kids. Uh, at the time, though, I definitely wasn't ready for kids. I'm still not really, but uh, and I'm definitely more prepared for it now than I was at the time. Still, you know, not yet, but we'll see what happens, I guess. What are your thoughts on the Retro Duo? Do you have one? No, I don't have one, so I don't really have any thoughts on it. What do you think of g the irate Gammer, and do you think he's a ripoff of the nerd? Uh, there's nothing I can say about the irate Gamer that hasn't already been said. As far as him being a ripoff of the nerd, do I think he's a ripoff of the nerd? It's, it's not a matter of opinion. It's a matter of fact, and the fact is that it's pretty obvious. Are you ever going to review in television games? I'd say it's probably not because I never played any. I've actually never played an in television game. I've just seen YouTube videos and whatnot, you know, read about it and everything. So I don't. I never even played a, an emulator version of any of the television games. So, you know, there are too many games I think that I want to review from other systems that I'm more familiar with than in television. But I mean, who knows? You know, maybe I'll uh, I'll tr give a shot for only one or two in television games. Do you like turtles? Sure, why not? What's your birthday? April 15th. And my birthday falls on the anniversary of Lincoln dying, the Titanic sinking, and on top of all that, it's tax day. So I've got a lot of tragedy on my birthday. Funny thing about the Lincoln and Titanic situation is that the f on the 14th was the day that Lincoln was shot, and it was also the day that the, the Titanic hit, struck the iceberg, but everybody died the day after on my birthday. So, you know, that's... Uh, my birthday are a lot of death days. But I do share my birthday with Leonardo da Vinci, so at least I got that going for me, I guess. Is there any particular video game genre that you just can't stand? If so, what is it and Why? You know, there, I, I wouldn't say there's any genre that I hate or can't stand. Um, I guess racing games, you know, car racing games. I, I don't know, they just, they, they bore me, I guess. And then World of Warcraft is not a genre, but it's, you know, any game where you have to pay monthly, I think is a ripoff. Do you prefer the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Atari 2600? You know, I've always said when asked about this, you know, what system would you bring to a deserted island if you, you know, you were stranded and you could only play one system for the rest of your life? I'd o I'd always say Nintendo. I think that one has the most uh long term range for me as far as uh staying power goes. 
Have you ever seen any of the Skip Rogers NES videos on YouTube or the internet? And if so, how do you rate his Sage Gaming advice? Well, I haven't seen him yet, so I can't rate his advice, but since you've made the recommendation, I guess I should check it out. What keeps you going in your walkthroughs? Is it hard to get inspired enough to record footage and audio? Not really. It's not that difficult. Uh, you know, sometimes every once in a while I'll start to feel a little bit burnt out. Uh, but what I try to do is I try to space out the walkthroughs. Like, there'll be an Atari review in between the walkthroughs. Those are much quicker to make and faster and easier, so that uh, will give me some breathing room so it's there's more time to work on the walkthroughs. And in between, you know, to, after every couple walkthroughs, I'll do a regular short review. That way, you know, there's even more breathing room in that. Keeping those little breaks in there makes it easier to keep it going and keep it, the ball flowing. So that way, I don't, I don't get uh, overwhelmed with myself. You get so many questions in your comments. How do you narrow them down to put in your Q and A episodes? And I see there are some silly questions here. Do you put those in on purpose or just random or just for a little entertainment? As far as the serious questions go, yeah, they, I try to get them all in there, except for repeats, ones that have already been answered in another episode, or requests. Spe game, specific game requests, I won't answer in the Q&As because my answer for requests is always the same for any request that ever comes in. It's, you know, I will take that request and put it in a file where I have, you know, all the requests that I've gotten, and I will glance over it, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get to do it because I get so many of them now that it's going to be Im almost impossible for me to do all of them at the rate that they come in. And I won't answer requests on Q&As because that's just going to make the whole thing monotonous. Load it. I'm not going to load it up with all these requests and answer the same way every time. But yeah, keep the requests coming because I do take them into consideration. Just don't feel bad if it th th if the game gets reviewed, you know, years from now or never because, you know, there's just so many of them, it's impossible for me to do all of them. As far as the silly questions go, if it's a silly question but isn't, you know, over over the top or anything like that, then yeah, I'll throw them in there just to, for the sake of entertainment and, you know, just to have something else in there besides just, besides, you know, a whole bunch of game-related questions, you know, like, just to spice up the stew a bit. When do you plan on doing Super Mario Bros. 3? Now, right after saying that I don't answer requests in the Q&As, here I am doing it. Uh, but this one I'm going to throw in there because I have mentioned before that I'm going to do Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, I would like to be able to say by the end of the year I'll have it out, but I can't promise that. Uh, springtime, the latest. You know, March or so. You know, my, my birthday. I'm going to say my birthday next year, April 15th, is the absolute maximum. That's my ultimatum. If I don't make it by then, then I'll give everybody my home address and you can send a bomb to it if you want. For those wondering, no, this isn't, this 200th video Q&A is not just like a one-time deal back with the Q&As. You know, I'm going to try to start doing these again on a semi-regular basis. So, you know, you can start leaving questions in the comments or, you know, private message me, whatever. Thanks.